Greetings, Stage of Bliss, Kundalini Queen. Today I want to talk about Organite, how Organite supports Kundalini, what it exactly is. Um, so I've been teaching and about Kundalini since 2001, when I initially was, I guess, initiated into the understanding of it by my Kundalini instructor in India. So it wasn't until this summer when I was working at Meadows Crystals in Lehigh, Utah, and she was asking for Organite for the store, that I, with my partner, uh, researched about it and um, became familiar with the discovery made by Wilhelm Reich back in the 50s that was suppressed by the government because of the healing properties of having Organite around. And so the easiest way I can say to explain what this is, is it's an alchemical technology. So if you're familiar with the alchemy in the body or the alchemy of transformation, the inner alchemy, and that is taking the, the positive and the negative pole, Ida and Pingala in the body, the, the magnetic and electrical, and combining them in a unified field so as to cancel each other out and open a new reality from the pineal gland, a different reality, a higher dimension is open, a portal is open within you. So these are devices that do that. So they are half organic, half inorganic material, which through the pressurization of the hardening of the resin on the metals and crystals and the, especially the quartz wound with copper and tourmaline, which are piezoelectric, when the pressure you know, happens, there is a field that's generated. That was documented by Wilhelm Reich back in the 50s. Uh, that is this organ field that actually generates a field of organ, which is kundalini, is life force energy. It is the energy that we are trying to access through awakening. And so the effect it has on the body and in the field is, number one, it just cancels out discordant frequencies or harmful frequencies such as EMFs and radiation, but it also helps us access the zero point field of pure healing potentiality, of creativity, of um, you know, a different dimension. I call these ports because they, they act like little ports. If you have three ports in a room, they talk to each other like Wi-Fi, and of course the pyramid shape does have significance as well the way that it channels and compresses the energy into a single point it actually fountains around these things so these little ones are great for like right around you they're a personal one by your computer or your router or just near you up next to the bed i also have disc sizes that i like to add these sacred geometries to the back for added potency and these also you can charge your water on or food, but they just sit next to you and have this access to the field. Um, I make medium size. I'm all out because I just sold the last one, but there's a large size. This is a whole house size. So the medium size is more like one room. The little ones are like personal and the big ones are full house size. So this size takes a long time to create but it does affect the entire home. So it's high frequency experience. The experience I've had is an alchemical experience of everyone in the home going through a transformation, myself going through a transformation through making these. And me personally, I've done a lot of transformation work in my life over the past 20 plus years. And so these have granted me access to Kundalini in the form of creativity. Um, and so creative energy has inspired me to make more organite, to make resin art, to um, make magic wands, to do all sorts of creations. I should probably have some of them in here, but they have literally changed my experience of reality and they have caused different people to leave my reality. They have changed my location. They have changed everything. They have alchemized my experience to be with these things. So they're potent. They are helpful for people struggling with Kundalini awakenings. 
Um, so if you're experiencing symptoms of awakening, which I do describe in other videos, but can include depression or anxiety or problems sleeping or any kind of physical symptoms, there is a, an adjustment period of usually just a day or so of being around one of these. Like if you sleep next to one, you might have a difficult time falling asleep that night because it's going to wherever the discord is in your body and helping to adjust it. Um, I make these, I can specially make them for you, but each one has a little bit of a spe specified purpose depending on the other crystals and so forth I add. This one has blue sodalite along with pink and green tourmaline and shungite. So there's an emphasis on throat chakra awakening and being able to speak from the healed inner child space. This one has a load of quartz crystals in it with copper, carnelian, um, shungite as well. Um, this one is more about accessing creative potential and feeling protected to do so, filling a field uh, generated just for creation. This one has some cinnabar in it, which is a highly uh, packed mercurial stone. So it's got a high content of mercury, plus there's mahogany, obsidian, Utah mahogany, obsidian, that I packed in here um, with the shungite and the tourmalines and there's a little bit of bone um, beads in here. But the cinnabar is definitely works on the mind for transformation. The shungite is very powerfully purifying and awakening to your magical self. So it helps turn the mind and the attention of what you thought was impossible before. So this is how I create this is why Organite is so beneficial and helpful to have around. It's great to combat some of these frequencies that are just too much, microwaves and 5G stuff and all of that. But beyond that, to really get into a place where we can access our pure creative life force potential, that that is really what we're here to do with these forms and with these bodies. And these are just tools that help make that possible. Think of them as little kundalini fountains. So where we're working to access our own, these are creating a little, you know, model for our energy field to know what to do so that it's easier for us to move in that direction. If you have any questions or you're interested in getting one or having one made especially for you, you can send me a comment or you can find me on Facebook, Stage of Bliss, The Kundalini Coach, or my personal page. Send me a message and I look forward to hearing from you.